What's up guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3! Thanks for joining me once again here today, guys. It's great to have you back. Uh, in the previous episode, we started doing some of those payphone missions that I've been neglecting, and uh, today we're going to go ahead and continue on with that. There's another payphone that we can take missions from here. It's a little ways outside of our starting save house. I'm kind of hoping that the payphone missions we take today will be a little bit more interesting than the ones from last episode. Uh, if you guys didn't catch that, we did some payphone missions last time, and we took those from Marty Chong's at the Bitch and Food Dog Company, and um, those were a little bit repetitive, so here's hoping that today's missions are a little bit more diverse, and uh, why don't we go ahead and find out what the first one's gonna be. Turismo. Well, no, not really. I'm not new. Again, should have done these missions a long-ass time ago. Oh, man, really? We gotta do a race? Oh, God, I suck at these kinds of missions. Damn it. Okay, well, luckily enough, I came here in a sports car, so hopefully this helps us out a little bit. But damn, dude, I suck at these kinds of missions. Okay, keep your fingers crossed for me, guys. And to make matters worse, I just know that the Mafia and the Triad are gonna be shooting at me the entire time. But, um, okay, so these are missions for El Burro of the... What is it? The, uh, the Diablos, I guess? We haven't really done much interaction with them yet. So, yet another gang that I'm sure will hate me by the end of the game. Alright, well, I wasn't expecting a race, so let's see if I can win this on the first try. Let's go! And, crap, these guys actually have some pretty good cars. I remember, uh, in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, my least favorite mission was the, uh, the Malibu Club mission where you have to race against Hillary. He's the guy that you end up hiring into your crew at the Malibu Club before you do your, uh, bank heist as Tommy Versetti in that game. And, uh, I think I've been permanently scarred by that mission. Uh, even when I Let's Played Vice City a long-ass time ago, I had to try that mission over at least a dozen times before I finally beat it. And the hilarious thing, um, I guess spoiler warning in case you guys haven't beat that game yet, or if you haven't played that game. Um, first of all, I highly recommend that you do play it because it's one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games. It's one of my favorite games in general. But, um, the funny thing is that even though you go through all this trouble and do this really hard mission to hire Hillary onto your crew as the getaway driver, uh, what ends up happening is that Hillary shows up with the getaway car at the end of the bank heist, but he actually gets shot as soon as he gets out of the damn car, and it's like, well, that's great, so I went through all this time recruiting a getaway driver, and he doesn't even do his job. He dies before he even gets to do anything useful. So yeah, hopefully that offers a little bit of insight into why I absolutely despise racing missions in Grand Theft Auto games. Actually, in games besides Grand Theft Auto, I'm not too bad a driver. Like, in Need for Speed, I'm pretty damn good. Uh, Midnight Club, another game that's actually made by Rockstar, I'm pretty good at Midnight Club. Um, it's just that in Grand Theft Auto, for some reason, I think maybe it's the AI or the way it's programmed, um, I tend not to fare so well, although right now it says we're in first place, I don't know if I believe that. One well, of these guys could be riding up right behind me any second now, so I'm gonna try and weave through traffic here as best as I can. But yeah, that racing mission against Hillary and Vice City is just completely broken. I can't imagine anybody being able to beat that on their first try. If you have beat that mission on your first try, you are like a Grand Theft Auto god. Okay, maybe that's exaggerating a little bit. It's not that hard a mission, but it's just one that's always frustrated me quite a bit. Although, this one doesn't seem to be nearly as bad. I've been in first place for most of the race. Um, we gotta be coming up on the end kind of soon, right? We've already gone through, like, the entire city. Actually, now that I think about it, besides Hillary being a pain in the ass to race, the other thing that made that mission really hard was the fact that you get a two-star wanted level right at the start. I mean, right now I have a one-star wanted level, but that's only because I ran over somebody, so that's my own fault. But, um, yeah, the thing that would really screw me up in that mission the most, I think, was just cops getting in my way. But, oh, are we back at the start of the track? I think this is probably it, right? Because this is where the race began. Yep, yep, okay, let's do it! Sweet! All right, all right, that, I'm feeling pretty good now. I am feeling very confident in my skills after that one. Um, if any mission was going to screw me up, it was going to be this one, so... Since I was able to beat that, let me go ahead and change a car real quick. Um, because that car is just about ready to explode. I'm really damn lucky that I didn't run into Mafia guys with shotguns, because they just would have torn my car apart. But why don't we go reconvene with El Burro? Let's go ahead and take another mission from him. Um, with these payphone missions, I'm thinking I'd like to get them all done in an episode each. So, um, I did all of Marty Chonk's, uh, payphone missions in one episode. 
Um, regardless of how long it takes me to do El Burro's missions, I'm just going to try and do them all in one episode. Even if that means running over time slightly, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, because I don't want to waste too much time on these payphone missions. I want to get to the final mission of the game relatively soon. Choppy, choppy, your peewee. You can't be serious. Oh my god, are you for real? Wait, are we really gonna do this? Alright, this game is going there. We are going to bomb an ice cream truck. I asked for mission variety and boy did I ever get it. Alright, so let's go ahead and find this thing. Um, I guess we gotta grab the bomb first. Um, well that's kind of weird though. I'm kind of surprised the game doesn't make me steal the car and just take it to 8-ball or something like that. And it's like right over here too, that's kind of weird. Why wouldn't they just give me that at the start of the mission? It's like, no, you gotta drive down the road and pick it up first. Alright, find an ice cream van. Um, oh, they're actually gonna be nice and show me where one of them is on my map. I was gonna say, because I don't think I've seen an ice cream van in the entire game, so... I wouldn't know where to find one otherwise. Um, oh god, this is gonna be in Mafia territory too, shit. Um, okay, I gotta be cautious here, and actually, you know what, I'm just gonna run over the Mafia guys on the side of the road. Um, because if I can run them over quickly enough, then hopefully I can stop them from getting a chance to shoot me. Alright, hey, would you- wait, hey, please, buddy, stop, I need to get a fudge bar. Alright, come on, get out, get out, get out, hurry up. Okay, we gotta drive away really damn quick here. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, shit, are you kidding me? It's already on fire? Fuck, fuck! Oh, what?! How in the hell was I supposed to get away quickly enough? Okay, that's not even fair. They have fucking shotguns. How am I supposed to get away from them? And why can't I just go find a different van? Why does it have to be that one? I'm sure there's plenty of other ice cream. Oh god, oh Jesus! Oh my god, just run away! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Holy shit, there's so many of them! This is a mob hit! Okay, they're pissed that I killed their dawn. Oh god, run away, run away, fuck! This is not going well. Shit! No, why? That's so not fair. Fucking Guido mobster son of a bitch. All right, this is actually going to be really hard, it seems like. Um, let me go refill up on supplies and ammunition. Let me get some armor and some weapons. And we'll try that again. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. We got to go really fucking fast. Like, we cannot waste any time at all. Um, you know what? I really should have done these missions before I killed Don Salvatore because now the Mafia just wants me dead. And it's gonna happen. If the Mafia wants it, they're gonna make it happen. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this mission, I think it was definitely intended to be played a lot sooner. Um, because it wouldn't be half as hard if the Mafia wasn't trying to kill me. So, I guess there are just some missions in the game that once different mobs are pissed off at you, they become a lot more difficult. And so, okay. I mean, the entire area of Portland is just not a good place to be right now. Everyone and their grandma pretty much wants me dead, so... Um, where do I park this car? Okay, obviously not in the water. Where's the entrance? There's a ramp over there, but I definitely don't want to take my chances with that. Uh, here we go. And, uh, yeah, let's just drive through those traffic cones. Way to go. Alright, let's arm this thing. And... is that it? Let the okay. Alright, so I guess a bunch of dudes are going to come out to get ice cream, and we're going to blow them up. Let's get away and press the detonator. Kaboom! Uh, was that it? What am I supposed to do now? Hello? Um... Oh, wow, I screwed that up. I was supposed to blow up that bomb a lot later. I guess I was supposed to wait for them to come out first before I actually used it, but that's okay, because we can just shoot them and kill them that way. You know what, at the end of the day, they ended up dead, so I guess that's all that really matters. Although, knowing that to be the case, why couldn't I just have come over here and killed them? Why did I have to go through all that stupid bullshit with the ice cream truck in the first place? Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm not even going to question it. It's just, it's Grand Theft Auto, and that's all there is to it. At this point, I just have to accept that these missions are going to make me go way out of my way to do ridiculous shit when I really don't have to. Alright, El Burrito, let's go take another mission for you, good sir. So, um, while I have a minute here driving back to take another payphone mission from him, uh, how's it going, guys? I hope that your day is going extremely well. Um, I'm recording this video on a... Why, why can't I remember what day of the week it is? 
Um, well, I'm recording it on a Monday evening. It's becoming Tuesday, so whatever you want to call that. It's probably Tuesday already in most of the world, time zones and all that shit. So um, I hope that your Tuesday is well, assuming I post this video on the same day I record it. And if you're watching this video on any other day of the week, you can go fuck yourself. God, that came out a lot more harsh than I meant it to. I'm just choking, guys. What's this about Donkey Memorabilia? El Burro, by any chance, do you know Ricardo Diaz? Well, actually, by this point, Ricardo's actually probably dead, but anyway. Okay, quick question for all these payfo missions, since we've been taking a lot of them, and we're going to keep taking a bunch of them for the foreseeable future. Um, when Claude picks up the other end of the phone, how does the person on the other end of the line know that it's him? Because he never talks. So how is it that Marty Chonks or El Burro or any of these guys, how do they know that it's me? Also, let me turn in here real quick and uh, repair my car since it's damaged. But no, seriously, how do these guys know that I picked up the phone in the first place? And why are they calling me using a payphone anyway? Because, I mean, what's to stop from just any random person walking up and picking it up? I mean, if I was walking down the street and I heard a payphone ringing, first of all, that's kind of weird. That doesn't happen every day. I would probably stop and pick it up just to see what the hell was going on. So, I mean, did they specifically want to get Claude to do this work, or were they just looking for anybody to do it? Because, I mean, they're trusting me with some pretty major tasks, so... I mean, how do they trust me? Or, like, how do they verify who I am? That's just a little bit weird. Um, but okay, let's go ahead. Great, we're in Chinatown. That's fucking amazing. All the triads are probably going to gang rape me. I really... You know what I realized I forgot to get while I was uh, picking up more weapons after I died the other time? I forgot to get body armor, and I'm just now realizing this, and... Oh my god, it's a flamethrower! Holy shit, it's a flamethrower. Guys, guys, I have a flamethrower. I don't know if you realize how awesome this is. I'm kind of freaking out right now. I have a flamethrower. Where have you been all my life, my sweet love? I love this weapon so damn much. And so we just gotta kill a bunch of triad? That's awesome! Oh gosh, this is beautiful. And for some reason, they don't seem to be fighting back or anything. I haven't had a single triad attack me on this entire mission. Then again, how exactly would you fight back against a flamethrower anyway? When somebody strolls up to you and just casually shoots fire in your face, there's not a whole lot you can do except just sit there and take it. I am really enjoying this just a little bit too much. This is a little bit sick. And do the cops just, like, not give a shit? I'm basically having a Chinese barbecue right now. Okay, maybe it's a little bit early to be saying this. I haven't beat the game yet, but I nominate this mission- Oh my god, that guy was fucking loaded! Why did he have so much money? Apparently, I just killed the Chinese Bill Gates. Good lord. Um, what? Why did I just get a bunch of money? Did anybody else see that? That was really weird. My money just went way up. Uh oh, what? The police? You guys want to finally try and intervene? Yeah, come at me, bro. I want to set the world on fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. It went down, down, down. And I killed that shiny son of a bitch. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. I'm pretty sure that when Johnny Cash wrote that song, he was vividly imagining a crazy guy running around in New York City, torching guys with a flamethrower. That is the only thing he could have been thinking of. And that should be my last kill for the day. Which is kind of sad, because I was having so much goddamn fun with that. Oh, you know what, guys? After that, I am feeling really damn good. That is exactly the kind of mission I needed. After all the tedious, really difficult stuff I've had to do so far, that that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a mission where I could run around and just freely cause mayhem. I couldn't ask for better. Although, if anything, that probably just pissed off the triad even more at me, if that was even possible. I'm surprised that there's any of them left, quite frankly. But all right, I am in an excellent mood right now. I'm feeling really damn good. What do you say we go ahead and do another El Burro mission? Because it looks like we got another one on our plate. And you know what? If it's anything like this last one, things are pretty good. Come on, what do you say? Why don't you just let me run around and torch some of the Mafia guys? That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Big and veiny, are you for real? Oh my god, no way. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Dust 
Ew! Ew, 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 ew! What is wrong with you? Ew! God damn it, Elboro! What is wrong with you, man? Are you sick in the head? Okay, folks, only in Grand Theft Auto can you go from a mission where you are literally burning people alive with a flamethrower into collecting donkey porn. I... what? Are we really doing this? Why are we helping him? What stake do we have in this? You know what? I seriously have to reevaluate my life. I can't believe that this is happening right now. Never did I think I'd be getting paid to run around a virtual recreation of New York City to collect donkey porn that fell out of the back of a van. Okay, so this isn't just donkey porn. This is stolen donkey porn. As if that wasn't already bad enough. I just... I, I can't. I, I don't... And I played Saints Row, I should be used to this by now. Saints Row was pretty fucking weird. But this... This is like an all new standard. Saints Row wishes it was this weird. You know, I remember not too long ago when I was playing Vice City Stories and we first ran into Renee, Renee Weissmuller, whatever her name was, or his name, and that weirded the hell out of me. That was, that was, I thought that was the upper limit of what GTA had to offer. But no, El Burrow just completely defied my expectations. Also, you better fucking tip over, Van. Okay, good. I was really worried I was going to crash there for a second. The last thing I need to do is repeat the mission about collecting donkey porn. I only need to play this once and then never again. Also, that ticking in the background is starting to get really, really annoying. And I know it's because- OH MY FUCKING GOD! You fucking triad bastard, you son of a bitch, really? Ah. This is so not cool. Okay. Okay, you know what? You gotta die because you just pissed me off. You just pissed in my cornflakes, and I am not in the mood for it. Um, let's go back and try that mission again, I guess, and... Oh my god, oh my god, whoa, 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 hey, let me go! What the shit?! Oh my god, no, now it's a triad mob hit, are you serious?! Oh my god, run away, run the fuck away! No, not again, this is not happening for the second time in the same freaking episode. Oh my god. I can't handle this, all these gangs in Portland being pissed off at me, I just can't do it. Oh my god, and I still haven't collected the hidden packages either. How in the hell am I gonna do that? Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna worry about that later. Let's just try this El Burro mission again. Um, I'm gonna fast forward the video, so hopefully I'll see you guys if I happen to successfully complete it by some miracle. Oh my god, oh my god, there's the guy. Oh my god, yes. Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, so now that we got all the donkey porn, now we gotta go deliver it to the store. And I never thought in my entire life that I would ever say those words. I kind of feel tainted. I, I just... This better be worth a lot of money. And when I say a lot of money, I don't think there's any amount of money that can make me feel okay about doing this. But you know what? It better be damn well worth it. Also, my health is ridiculously low, and I now have a wanted level. Granted, it's one star, but now I'm seriously worried about dying. I'm halfway tempted to stop off at a hospital or something just so I can refill my health back up. But knowing my luck, as soon as I get out of the car, I'll get shot and killed. Alright, alright, you know what? No, you guys gotta leave me alone, because the mission is almost done. I just gotta drop these off. Please leave me alone. Oh my god, oh my god! Yes! Okay, we're done. We can finally move on. I wonder if this guy has anything else for me. Triple X mags. Oh yeah, how original. Wow. These guys are so embarrassed they have to show up in trench coats to buy this stuff. Oh my fucking god, there's a lot of them. I didn't realize that donkey porn was such a hot commodity in Liberty City. Only 20,000, are you serious? Alright, you know what, I gotta, I gotta get rid of some of these guys. They're kind of bugging me. 
I may have just delivered all that donkey porn, but I am not letting any of you guys leave here alive with it. And, oh goody, health. I needed that, like, desperately bad. Um, oh my god, there's an officer! Okay, let's run away. Um, oh, there's no more Elburo missions. Okay, so that was the last one. Um, well, I want to end off the episode, but I got to evade this cop. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'll just end it off while I'm running away from him. So, thank you guys for joining me once again. My name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please feel free to subscribe to me, and that way you can stay updated anytime I post new videos or donkey porn to my channel. Actually, I'm just kidding. I would never do that, unless you guys want me to, then I might. But anyway, guys, regardless, thank you for joining me here, and until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace! Okay, how the fuck did PETA not make a shitstorm about this? Okay, whatever. Don't buy donkey porn. Peace!